In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the AI to respond to emergencies with you. In the future, we want to simplify this process to be a little bit more automatic. But in the meantime, uh, we hope it's manageable. To the right of your minimap, you have a list of all the units that you have spawned. Black squares are engine companies. Letters, red squares are ladder companies. And the rest of the labels are here. If we look and pull up our MDT, we can see our units that are assigned to the emergency here. So we know who is closest and who is on the ticket for the emergency. So we know engine 222 is going to be first due. We'll find them on the list. We'll click them. With this arrow key, we can decide where we want them to respond to. We'll click that. If we check at the firehouse, we can see that the doors are opening and the lights are on. Once we decide where we want to send them, we'll right click and a green circle will appear on the ground where they're headed. We'll do that for the rest of the units who are on the ticket. So ladder 123 is our first due truck. We'll have them pull up here. And we'll have uh, the 37 battalion pull up here. We'll have another engine company respond. And I'll demonstrate a new feature that we've added. After clicking where you want the company to go, it will take about 15 seconds for the uh, company to turn out. We added this delay so that you can have time to hop on board of the truck if you'd like. In this case, we're going to spawn as the officer and we're going to hop in the passenger seat. The AI is doing 100% of the driving right now. However, as the officer, I do have the siren and horn pedals, so I'm able to use the sirens and uh, tell the AI to move out of the way. If we go back to where the fire is, we can see some of the first units starting to arrive. 222 just pulled up. Battalion 37 is here. Ladder 123 is right around the corner. When in the RTS mode, it's easy f uh, to be overwhelmed with all the units. We have an easy system to manage the units. If we want to select the unit and drive it, you can simply left click it. And it'll have a, a green circle around it. And now we're in control of this unit. If we want to release the unit, we can just press the F2 key. And we're back in the bird's eye view camera. So if we want to manage the position of this first new engine, we'll left click it. As you can see, we have 234 showing up we'll pull up on our hydrant and with that we can start to fight the fire the more you know